Hi everyone, in this video I would like to introduce uh, just one thing which is uh, let's say the JavaScript uh, console that you can see here below and um, actually how can you use it with uh, Matomo Analytics. It's just going to be one very specialized video so probably most of you watching it uh, will probably cut it after a couple of minutes. Uh, but really the idea is more for people which uh, are trying to convince actually some customer or some uh, webmaster who would like to move to Matomo Analytics or actually who are using uh, Matomo Analytics and would like to know actually to understand uh, the concept of uh, customizing uh, a tracking code. So this video will mainly be about uh, some main feature in the JavaScript uh, console. Actually, I'm a, more like a marketing communication uh, person, so uh, I'm not a developer, so I mess uh, stuff which are not 100% correct. And I do, I'm do. i not, let's say, like 100% proficient about uh, the JavaScript console. Uh, first of all, I would like to say, how do I educate myself about the JavaScript console? Well, uh, formerly I was working in web agency and I, and I saw that actually a lot of uh, developers were using it and I was a bit frustrated because I didn't know actually uh, how to use it uh, by myself, but I just discovered that it was pretty powerful and I was frustrated because at that time when I looked for more information about it, I could not find actually some good uh, learning course. Uh, so actually I followed two courses in order to educate myself plus some uh, practice. Uh, the best one I found so far is uh, at openclassrooms.com. It's fully in English. I'm waiting for the uh, French version. As you can see, it, I have not yet uh, completed uh, this course, but it's really well explained, at least all the different uh, all the different tabs that you can see here are pretty well explained, uh, like elements, like console, sources, and blah, blah, blah. So that's why I think uh, you could basically go for open classroom and follow uh, this course as um, from what I've seen and from what I watched in the past. It's very uh, interesting. I as well followed another course, but it was years and years ago that I found on the internet and I could not find it back. So I cannot show you the link. Uh, but uh, yeah, that's it. So actually, as you can see, I picked up a website here. I really picked up one website, which is uh, random. Actually, I do not have any access to this website. I don't know uh, really what it is about, except that it's about cakes. And um, I would like to show how you can easily show, for example, to this webmaster what it would look like if uh, you had Matomo installed on this website and what are the kind of events uh, you could fire on it and uh, how you can use actually the GS console in order to uh, easily show it out. Um, I will um, use as well actually the Matomo browser injector uh, developed by uh, Lucas Winkler that you can find either on GitHub, based on Google Chrome and either on uh, Mozilla. And the reason why I'm talking about it, it's that actually you cannot do everything through the JavaScript console as when you refresh your page or when you move from a page to another one, the uh, Matomo Analytics code disappears. So actually you can just play on the page uh, itself. But um, well, it's gonna be a nice video for the people who are interested in JavaScript console. So uh, let's get started because I already talked too much. Um, so let's say that you would like to convince uh, Dean's Cake House that uh, Matomo Analytics could be a good fit for them. So basically, you can just uh, locally uh, deploy uh, JavaScript code just for them. So that's what I'm going to do right now. I'm just going to create uh, one entity. So I'm just going to say, OK, Dean's cake. So I go up here and I say, I want to add a new measurable. And it's going to be Dean's cake. That's it. Dean's cake. I can take the URL. It doesn't really matter if I don't. Uh, once more, when you use the Matomo browser injector, make sure that actually the website on which you are working on uh, is in HTTP. If you are using actually um, Matomo Tag Manager Matomo Analytics in HTTP, okay, so HTTP with HTTP and HTTPS with HTTPS. If not, uh, it's not going to work and you're going to be sad. Okay, so uh, okay, I got it. So now you have my Dean's Cake. Uh, let's say property website. So if I go on dashboard and I click on this cake, I will be surprised to see that I have not yet received 
any visit, and that's true. Okay, so in order to avoid that, I will need actually to uh, inject uh, this tracking code on the page. So that's what I'm going to do right now. I'm just going to go here on the end and say mod export, and uh, just going to remove those part out. Yep. Actually, I could give it a try with it, but uh, I won't. And let's uh, remove this part as well okay great so um actually kind of strange why this line is in green it shouldn't be so let's well, i guess that's not going to make any difference so okay so that's it so through uh, the browser injector i succeed in injecting it uh, within the page so now if i refresh this one i should see that it works and no it doesn't so i'm sad okay uh why is that so let's see with the javascript console what's going on so console and da 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 yeah something expected after got right so let's look if i get something here do i nope get okay i'm a bit silly right so this one should have been taken out and now it's better because everything is in the right color right so if i do this well, i don't have my mistake anymore so first of all here you can clearly see that the javascript console is uh, pretty useful because it can tell you straight away that something's going on even if i could have uh, seen it as i said there were some green lines so i knew that something was going wrong okay uh, so let's refresh the page and now i can uh, clearly see that wow great i get one page view and that's the visitor log and blah 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 and this is uh, my ip address this is a direct entry and i'm currently on this page okay so nothing extraordinary so far i did not even use the javascript console at least was just in order to debug the line just inject uh, the default uh, Matomo tracking code on the page uh, through the Matomo browser injector. And the reason is uh, that I need to have this code on the page in order to send the data. And um, now as the code stay on every page of this uh, website through my browser, I can start to play with the JavaScript console. So let's say that the video can really start from here. Um, in this example, I just would like to show you a simple example, which is how can I uh, show on the page uh, a tracking code, which will be like tracking an event if someone is clicking, for example, on this uh, lovely cake, which has been already eaten. Um, so what I could do is just pick up uh, the JavaScript uh, tracking code of an event. The reason why I would like to pick up an event is just to show you a brief use case that you can uh, collect far more data than simply the page view in itself, right? So I'm just going to go up here and say uh, JavaScript, JavaScript, and tracking, and events, and method. OK, yep, and it will show me directly what is uh, the documentation, which is appropriate for it. And I'm going to just pick up this line of code that you can see up here, OK? So that's the line of code I'm interested in. And I would like actually to inject this line of code on the image when someone's clicking it. OK, so let's now go uh, this way. And let's just open like, um, yeah, like uh, a text editor. OK, so I got it. Um, now all I would like to do is actually to define a JavaScript event when someone's clicking on it. And when someone's clicking on it, it's what we call an on-click in uh, JavaScript. So if you just type in on-click event, uh, you'll find a great website, which is called uh, W3School, which is really explaining you um, how it should work if you want to play with JavaScript on a given page. And here, as you can see, it's on-click, blah, 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 function. So that's great. So just going to pick up this one, and I'm just going to go up here and say, OK, so this is what I would like to get. I would like to get my on-click. And my function is this. OK, so if I pick up this one and I do something like this, normally, it should actually um, launch this uh, tracking code specifically on the page. Um, just to let you know that the JavaScript console is kind of great, because if you do something like this, right, you go up here, and you say, hey, JavaScript console appear, and you have it here, and here is the console, and means that you can inject whatever you want through that, and that I want to push this 
special events where you say, hey, YouTube viewer, I love you. I love you, right? So let's uh, let's imagine that I would like to push that out uh, through the JavaScript console. As you can see so far, there's no event, right? There's just this page in itself. And if I just push it out, well, it injected on the page, right? So if I just now reload here, I will see that um, I have my event. So, hey, YouTube viewer, I love you, blah, blah, blah. So you are so happy because you know now how you can easily from the JavaScript console inject some JavaScript on the page. But that's, I mean, there's not that much interest here except that you can easily show to, I mean, any prospect, any customer that you have regarding Matomo that you can push any data to the system um, through actually the um, JavaScript tracking uh, documentation of Matomo Analytics. So if you just go up here, JavaScript uh, tracking, uh, oops, a bit silly. I should, I should precise that this is Matomo, right? Um, so you could easily show to uh, the people you are talking to that actually any of those features can be easily pushed uh, through the console and that you can easily after that show them that, yeah, if I succeed in putting this feature at this specific moment, then you will see that actually you will get uh, the data already coming in within Matomo Analytics, which is the case, for example, here for the events, right? So. I saw it within the visitor log a couple of minutes ago, but now uh, I can see it within the report. So uh, if you have actually some of your uh, listeners uh, talking to you and they are not understanding why, for example, they do not have any uh, data coming in like as the user ID, you can easily pick up uh, the user ID feature and then inject it like this and then just show them that, okay, if I six it to execute this JavaScript tracking code at this specific moment, you will get those uh, lovely data coming in your uh, Matomo analytics. Okay, so now let's do something more interesting, which is more like playing with the HTML source code of the website. And I would like, as I promised, uh, to launch an event if someone's click on this uh, lovely cake. So in order to do so, you can just pick up this one, right? Because that's going to be easier. And then just click up here, right? So. Uh, as you see, it's appearing in blue, which means that uh, you can easily now inject any tracking code uh, up here, right, in order to show how it looks like. So um, I'm going to just modify the HTML, the HTML code, and then I would like, actually, it's on someone's click on this image to execute my tracking code in JavaScript. So I'm just going to go up here, and um, as I'm smart, I... Uh, my stuff like k click hey i told you it would work okay so those are the data that i would like to pass if someone's click on it so uh here uh, i have at the beginning here the on click um, as you can see i'm not a javascript developer at all right i just someone who is able to use a search engine in order to uh, know that actually there are some features in JavaScript that we can use in order to inject them on some specific uh, source code. So as far as you go through the documentation of uh, W3Schools.com, uh, you should be happy and you should get actually the information you're looking for. Um, so in my case, now I want to inject it up here, right? So yeah, on click, blah, blah, blah. Okay, so uh, if now I'm getting out of this place, right? Yeah. It. So you know, it's telling okay it as an event, but actually I've not yet clicked on the image, right? So nothing should appear if I go. Oops, sorry for that. Uh, so if I go up here and if I go on the visitor log part, I should see that uh, nothing appear, right? And the reason why nothing appear is because I have not yet clicked on the page in itself, right? So that's what I'm gonna do right now. I'm just gonna. Um, and I'm going to click on it like five times. So one, two, three, four, five. Okay, I clicked five times on it. So if actually the source code as I inject it is, uh, is good, and I think it is because I can see that this one is in pink and then uh, it's fine. I closed it properly. And okay, I'm pretty confident that it could work. So I clicked on it like five times and let's see 
if I'm smart or not. Wow, five times, click, click, I told you it would work, three, that's great. Uh, so of course, after um, a couple of minutes, it should appear now in events. So it's not going to appear right now. It's taking some time because you need to process uh, those data out. So it may take five minutes, may take a bit more. But in any cases, as it has been uh, present here in the raw data, it's going to be within the events uh, later on. So uh, yeah, that's uh, that's pretty all of it actually. That's what I wanted to show you is um, really you can easily show to someone that you can put anything that you want, right? Um, and then of course after you need to uh, access to the source code definitely in order to uh, push out those information. But I thought that it would be nice to show you what you can do easily with the JavaScript console in order to let's say ensure you that you can already. Um, inject some stuff in Matomo Analytics. It's just a matter of practice. Uh, you could use, of course, as well as I'm using, I'm used to do on my uh, tutorial video to use Matomo Tag Manager in order to easily uh, inject it. Actually, I could have uh, used Matomo Tag Manager injector directly within the browser injector, but I just wanted to show you how you can do it as well through uh, the JavaScript console. Really hope that it helps and uh, that you will find actually some good ideas in order to, to play a little bit with it. Thanks for watching.